wanted to show you how to use your keyboard to activate your extensions that you would have up here in Google Chrome. And you can do that by going over to the little dots over here and going to more tools and then extensions. So anytime you install an extension, it is located here. That's where you can enable or disable your extensions. You can trash them all together. But if you scroll all the way down to the very bottom of this window, you will see a keyboard shortcuts button. And if you click on that, it will list all of your extensions that you currently have. So you can see that I'm using one called Screencastify right now is how I record my screen. And I have keyboard shortcuts set up specifically to record. So I have R for record, F for focus, P for pause, and S for stop, which I'll be using in just a minute. But let's say that I wanted to add my own keyboard shortcut to, for example, something that I use quite a bit, which is the save to Google Drive. Okay, so in order to activate that, I would just press the keys that I want to use. Now, you want to make sure that they're not keys that are used for something else, like, for example, Control-T opens up a new tab, Control-N opens up a new window, Control-W closes a window, etc. So usually starting something with Alt, adding Shift to it is going to be a pretty safe bet, but your mileage may vary. So um, I'm going to just call this uh, Save to Google Drive. I'm going to put Alt-Shift-D. D for drive and click OK and let's see if this works. I'm going to go to a page, my class craft page here, and I want to save this image. So I'm going to press Alt, Shift, and D. And sure enough, the little icon just spun there for a second and it saved this classcraft.png saved to my drive. Now remember when you're using Save to Google Drive, if you get a message down in the bottom right, that says that it needs to be authorized, all you need to do is restart your computer, which you should know a keyboard shortcut for that by now. And that is how you set that up. So um, make sure that you try that out and just try setting up some keyboard shortcuts for your own extensions.